Two of the well-known 3D software that artists and studios rely on are side effects with Unity and Cinema 4D. And each of them has different things to offer, which makes each one of them good for certain fields. In this video, we will try to give you an overview of what these two professional 3D software are capable of and how they are used in different 3D computer graphics industries. Game Development in the game development industry, side effects has become a very important tool that helps both AAA and indie game developers to work on their projects because it offers amazing tools for both modeling and visual effects. It is being used to create large-scale video game environments in record times relying on less manpower, and that led many studios to integrate it in their pipelines and create custom tools around it so their artists can work even faster depending on the type of the project they are working on. So far Houdini has been used to work on some of the best video games like Far Cry 5, Horizon Zero Dawn, Uncharted 4, Ghost Recon, and much more. Cinema 4D on the other hand is not popular in the video game industry even though it is capable of working on 3D assets, creating environments, character animation, and all the things necessary for 3D video game artists. There are plenty of examples that prove that Cinema 4D can be good for working on video games, but it is not popular in the industry. For multiple reasons like the fact that Maxon, the company behind Cinema 4D, simply has not pushed its marketing toward games. For example, in Maxon events, it is mainly featuring motion graphics and visualization. In addition to that, studios don't change their pipelines so often unless there is a very good reason to do so. Honestly, Cinema 4D does not really offer a lot compared to 3ds max or maya in this field so people don't see really a good reason to switch so when it comes to making video games cinema 4d is good if you want to work on your own video games or work as an indie developer but houdini is good for both whether you want to work as an indie developer or you want to join the triple a industry commercials when it comes to working on TV commercials or advertising in general, Cinema 4D is a very good option, if not the best option among other 3D packages. Over the years, Cinema 4D attracted many studios and artists that need tools for this type of work, because it has a robust tool set of motion graphics tools, which is often very essential for commercials. Houdini also can be fantastic for creating TV commercials, especially when it comes to high-end advertising, where there is a need to create realistic natural environments. Generally speaking, Cinema 4D is better and widely used for creating commercials because it is easier and it is equipped with tools specifically developed for artists working in this industry. Film and Television in terms of VFX, Side Effects Houdini is used by some of the best VFX studios to work on different types of projects, especially big budget projects because it was designed to be very good at this type of work. FX studios are transitioning to use Side Effects Houdini into their production pipelines because of its versatility, power, and its impressive jaw-dropping level of quality. A major benefit of using Houdini is the built-in procedural generation tools for VFX. Everything from destruction, deformation, hair, ice crystals, waves, bubbles, fire, and more can be procedurally generated inside Houdini. One of the reasons why Houdini is attractive to VFX artists is its ability to achieve high levels of flexibility and control to enhance both creativity and productivity. Cinema 4D also has a place in the VFX industry because it was used to work on some of the best films we have seen in recent years. Also it is popular among small VFX studios and freelance VFX artists. But I would say it is more used in the VFX industry to achieve high quality motion graphics effects in films such as Iron Man, Tron Legacy, Pacific Rim, and so on. Architectural Visualization Cinema 4D has become popular among artists who do visualization because it has good modeling tools and there are many render engines that can be integrated with it, which can give you more options to choose from. Also what makes Cinema 4D good for ArcVis work is the fact that its modeling tools can help with some of the difficult modeling tasks without necessarily needing too many plugins, even though there are some good plugins that can be used with it. Houdini, on the other hand, is not popular among visualization artists because this type of work does not need a high degree of complexity or advanced tools. 
but Houdini is qualified to be good at it nonetheless. Ease of use or difficulty When it comes to ease of use or doing things on the go, Cinema 4D stands out because it is known to be the easiest 3D package to learn and use. Pretty much all the tools you need to use are clear and easy to find. It is just a matter of finding good tutorials or courses to learn from that can push you in the right direction to start using the software on your own. Houdini, on the other hand, offers a lot of depth, functionality, and flexibility. There are many things you can do with an insane degree of freedom, but that comes at a cost, which is complexity and difficulty. To be honest, Houdini is considered to be the hardest 3D package to learn and use because its workflow is highly dependent on proceduralism, using nodes, and coding. But as you gain more experience using it, you will know your way around many things and you will be able to save time because Houdini is designed to work procedurally, as we said, to automate time-consuming tasks in addition to having the ability to change whatever you want even deep into production after a period of time you've been working on your projects. Modeling In terms of modeling, Cinema 4D is easy to use and very straightforward. It has more traditional modeling interface and approach to modeling. The user can model using primitives, using points, edges, and polygons. There are also deformers to change the shape of your models and also generators. On the other hand, Houdini is also good for modeling, but it is not the most straightforward and easy to use. It is highly procedural, but it allows rapid creation of complex objects based off geometric shapes. It also allows you to change minor details that are frequently repeated. Many artists don't really use Houdini as a primary modeling program, but it is powerful when it comes to modeling large-scale environments. So for modeling, both are great and they are good for different purposes. Animation When it comes to character animation especially, Side Effects Houdini has become much better, especially in the last few releases, because it needed better rigging and animation tools due to the type of the projects it is mainly used for. Also, the flexibility it offers during the whole process of rigging and animation makes it attractive as well. Cinema 4D is also a very good 3D software for rigging and animation, even though it is not very popular among professional animators like Maya is, for example. But Moxon is slowly but surely making it better by providing better tools for Cinema 4D animators. Motion Graphics Cinema 4D offers an excellent, intuitive workflow for creating and developing outstanding motion graphics, including start-to-finish integration with Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. Cinema 4D is known to be the go-to 3D software for motion graphics because Maxon, the developers of Cinema 4D, made sure to create a fantastic and robust toolset that helps motion graphics artists to generate amazing results using different and powerful and easy-to-use tools. Houdini can also be very good for motion graphics. Because of its procedural nature, you can use its tools to create various types of elements that can be used for motion graphics. Houdini can pretty much do everything that Cinema 4D can do, and it offers limitless possibilities, and it allows you to do many things in this type of work. But again, it is not going to be as easy, because Cinema 4D is targeting this market in the first place. Visual Effects Houdini can be used to create feature film quality destruction effects with its advanced particle and dynamic tools. Mainly artists are using particles, fractured rigid body dynamics to create massive simulations using the amazing tools that come with Houdini. On the other hand, some of the things that Cinema 4D offers to its VFX artists is its amazing motion tracking tools which allows them to track and solve shots using Cinema 4D Motion Tracker. Also, it has important tools for animating geometries and cameras, creating materials, and lighting shots, in addition to having a strong particle system and simulation dynamics. Lighting and Rendering when it comes to rendering, there are some built-in renderers for Cinema 4D, namely the Physical Renderer and the Pro Render. Both are decent enough, but given how technology has advanced in the last few years, they are probably not the best option to stay on top of your game. Now Cinema 4D comes with Redshift, which was bought by Maxon the last year. Redshift is one of the best render engines that you will ever use with Cinema 4D. It is super fast and efficient to use. There are also other powerful render engines that can be used with Cinema 4D, such as V-Ray, Octane Render, Arnold, and so on. 
they are great and can be good for different projects. When it comes to lighting and rendering with Houdini, Houdini ships with a powerful render engine called Mantra, but also supports third-party rendering engines which offers other options for artists. Also side effects introduced recently, Solaris, which brings a new context called LOPS or lighting operators that brings a native USD support to Houdini to allow for comprehensive look dev, layout and lighting workflows, in addition to the new render engine called Karma, which could potentially replace Mantra in the future. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.